<laughs> That's a good thumbnail. Please. I hate it. I hate it so much. No one's gonna <laughs> understand that. <laughs> no one understands it in the first place. That's true, I don't understand it. Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today, if you couldn't tell, I am coming to you from a slightly different location that's not all that different, and my camera is on its tripod on my chair, and I'm with my friend here. This is Maya. Say Hello. hi. Hello. Um, she's with me here today, because today we're going to be doing the first sentence book challenge. <laughs> So I don't know who created this challenge, but I will try and figure it out and I will list them, list their video down below so you guys can check that out. So the way that this challenge works is that I'm going to be blindfolded and Maya is going to pick a book off of my bookshelves and she's going to read the first sentence and I have to try and guess which book it is by reading, by her reading the first sentence. And if I can't get the first sentence, she reads the second one. If I can't get that one, she'll read the third one. And if I can't get that, she will read the last sentence of the book. And for each one of those I get points so I think for the first sentence it's three points the second sentence two points third sentence uh, one point and then the last sentence I get half a point Maya is now going to blindfold me with oh we have to grab that <laughs> hello so Maya is now going to blindfold me with this scarf so I'm not gonna be able to see anything I just realized I'm wearing makeup and this is gonna mess up my eyeliner is it waterproof? no well, uh, okay good okay so I am blindfolded now and I see nothing. Everything is black. Okay. I told you. Yeah, okay, I can feel the okay, wind. Fine, whatever. <laughs> now Maya's just gonna pick some books off my shelves, and I have to guess what they are. I have multiple shelves, so you guys always just see this shelf that's right behind me, but I have this one. I have another one that's on the other side of my desk, and then I have another one that's over here that's built into my wall, and then another one that lays horizontally on the ground. So I have books everywhere. Okay, Book one. Late in the winter of my 17th year, my mother decided I was depressed, presumably because I rarely left the house, spent quite a lot of time in bed, read the same book over and over, ate infrequently, and devoted quite a bit of my abundant free time to thinking about death. The Fault in Our Stars. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that one was easy. Okay. These are all really easy. I'm going very easy on you. I might do harder ones later, though. Okay. Book number two. Are you going to show the pages? Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know what it sounds like when you turn the page of this specific book. I would have done it. <laughs> it was nearing midnight and the Prime Minister was sitting alone in his office, reading a long memo that was slipping through his brain without leaving the slightest trace of meaning, be of meaning behind. The Prime Minister? Mm -hmm. Can you read it again? Yes. It was nearing midnight, and the Prime Minister was sitting alone in his office, reading a long memo that was slipping through his brain without leaving the slightest trace of meaning behind. I want to say this is a Harry Potter book. Okay. Is it a Harry Potter book? <laughs> yeah. Oh, which one? It's not the first one. It's not the seventh one. Is it Order of the Phoenix? No. Damn it. Mm, read the second sentence. Okay. He was waiting for a call from the president of a far distant country and between wander- wandering? Wondering when the wretched man would telephone and trying to suppress unpleasant memories of what had been a very long, tiring, and difficult week, there was not much space in his head for anything else. That didn't help. <laughs> I still know it's a Harry Potter book, but which one? Is it the Half-Blood Prince? Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Do I get two points for that? Yes. Yes. So, book number three. I hear it. Oh my it. god. I couldn't tell it was a Harry Potter book from the way you turned the pages, Maya. Okay, okay. You're gonna know this like immediately, but um. You can think up some birds. Oh, the things you can think. Yeah. Oh, the things you can think by Dr. Seuss. Yeah. Yay. I like that you picked that one. <laughs> book number four. Alarm clock ringing. What? Alarm clock ringing? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Um. <laughs> it's, but it's the first one. So <sighs> okay, second sentence. You're gonna know this immediately now. Lights up on Claire in the bed. Oh! Oh! Funny 
some years. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's first sentence, so I just didn't know if I was going to do the first line or the first stage direction, and I was oh, like, okay. okay, you know what, I'm just going to do the first No, I like this then. first stage direction. That one's good. I'm doing better at this than I thought, but you are picking pretty easy ones. That's true. Book number five. Wait, what is... Okay, I forgot what I had in my hands. <laughs> Oh, damn it, you're gonna know immediately. 1801. I have just returned from a visit to my landlord, a solitary neighbor that I shall be troubled with. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, this is in first person? Yes. <laughs> 1801? Yeah. What historical books do I know? You just touched it. I feel like you're going to Oh my know. god, no. My finger grazed <laughs> the side. I don't even know if it's a hardcover or if it's a like paper bag. Okay. This isn't the night circus. That takes place around that time, but that's not the first sentence. That's not when it first takes place, and it's also not in first person. It's not the mortal instrument, or the infernal devices. That oh. takes place later, and that's... <laughs> so oh my god, I'm, I'm not beating. <laughs> do you want me to read this again? Because I feel like if you pay attention more to the sentence, then the okay. date, you'll understand. Yes. 1801. I have just returned from a visit to my landlord, the solitary neighbor that I shall be troubled with. I should know what this is! No, you definitely should. 1801. A visit to my landlord, the solitary neighbor that I shall be troubled with. What books do I own? <laughs> Okay, second sentence. This is certainly a beautiful country. What? You're gonna be really mad at yourself. <laughs> is this a play? No. A neighbor that I should be troubled with. A solitary, solitary neighbor. neighbor. Who lives alone in, or who lives with one neighbor next to them in 1801? What? Ah, uh, next sentence. Oh no. In all England, I do not believe that I could have fixed on a, yeah, fixed on a situation so completely removed from the stir of society. What the hell is this book? Oh my god. Why? Why don't I know what this is? You're gonna be so mad when I tell you. Oh my god. No, no, I have to know. Read the first three together. <laughs> okay. 1801. I have just returned from a visit to my landlord, a solitary neighbor that I shall be troubled with. This is certainly a beautiful country. In all England, I do not believe that I could have fixed on a situation so completely removed from the sir, the sir, the stir of society. Read the last sentence. I lingered round them under that benign sky, watched the moths fluttering among the heath and harebells, listened to the soft wind breathing through the grass and wondered how anyone could ever imagine unquiet slumbers for the sleepers in that quiet earth. I have no idea what this is. You really have no idea? No, what is it? It's Wuthering Heights. What? What? I told you you'd be mad. How did I not get that from 1801? That's oh my like, god! That's why I was like freaking out over solitary neighbor. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I know. <laughs> I'm so mad. Okay, because I wasn't thinking that it was written in first person because I'm used to like the parts. I'm not used to the like Lockwood parts. I'm used to the Nelly parts. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so upset. Well, I'll give you an easier one now. Well, oh, that was pretty no. easy. I, at least I thought it would be. That was, you got nothing. That's so sad. I'm so upset. Okay. I'm ashamed of myself. Book number, wait, what number? Six. six. Book number six. I'd had more than my fair share of near-death experiences. It wasn't something you ever really got used to. I know what this is. Yeah, you do. This is Twilight. It's Twilight? No, 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 no. It's from the Twilight series. It's not Twilight, Twilight. Is this Breaking Dawn? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Who is the one character who almost dies more than anyone? That's true. <laughs> because of her own clumsiness. That's true. Wait, so I got three points for that one? Yeah. Okay. You got zero for Wuthering Heights. Okay, well, I'm ashamed now. <laughs> <sighs> That's one of my favorite books, and I hate Breaking Dawn. 
Book number seven. Okay. Oh god, you're gonna- no. I'm gonna- If there's a name, you can just say blank. No, you're gonna know immediately because I didn't know that this book started with this. Okay. You don't know why, but just like, oh my god. Okay. I'm mad now. I'll do this anyway, but it doesn't count, okay? Okay, fine. <laughs> Watch me not- even, I can't even read it out loud. It's... Watch me not get this. You will get this. Okay. I'm gonna read the first half of this sentence. Why? Because you're going to get it. Ugh. Happy families are all alike. Anna Karenina! Yeah, that's why it doesn't count. Because okay, the how, did you, how did you not know that that was the first line? That their line in the play is the opening line to Anna Karenina. All happy families are alike, but each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Okay, yeah, but I didn't read the book. It doesn't say like, oh, this is the opening line in Anna Karenina. Just, that's what it says. That's what, what I just said. Wait, you know, that didn't count. So yes, we're yes. Going to, we're going to skip that. No, it counts. It does not count. I didn't write it down, so what? it doesn't count. And you're blindfolded, so you can't write it down. <laughs> book 7, 7.2.5. No, it's book Okay, fine. <laughs> book number seven. Getting dressed was always the hardest part of the afternoon. What? Getting dressed was always the hardest part of the afternoon. <laughs> that gives me nothing. Sentence number two. Okay. This one you probably will get. The invitation to Valentino Mansion said semi-formal, but it was the semi part that was tricky. Okay, think about like, oh god, how do I go back? This is a very what thing to say. <laughs> It's like a really like, like, material, like, egotistical thing to say, right? Yeah. So like, think along those lines. I literally don't know. Read the third sentence, or a second, whatever. I don't think it's gonna help, I just realized. I don't know, this is part is like really not special. Oh, uh, okay. Like a night without a party, semi opened up too many possibilities. Semi? Like semi-formal? Yeah. I don't know, read the last sentence. She plunged through the branches, following Shay into the flashing lights. Shay? Who's Shay? Is this the Ugly series? It's a series, yeah. Is it the first one? Mm-mm. Is it Pretties? Yeah. Uh, Do you get a point if that was your second guess? No. Well, well, yeah, because you read the last one and I said Ugly series, so I get point five okay. for that one. Book number eight. One summer night, I fell asleep, hoping the world would be different when I woke. Ugh, I hate these generic opening lines. That's true. It's first person. Why are all of these first person? I don't know, read the second sentence. In the morning when I opened my eyes, the world was the same. What the hell? No shit, the world was the same. <laughs> um, I don't know. Read the third one. That's, I don't know if that's gonna help oh you. Oh god. I threw off the sheets and lay there as he, the heat poured in through my open window. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know. I'll read the last sentence. How could I have ever been ashamed of loving Dante? <gasps> Secrets of the universe. How did I not get that from the beginning? I don't know. I'm so mad. I'm like missing I mean, my okay. favorite books. I'm Book number nine. This is so obvious. Why? Look, I didn't want to be a half blood. Harry Potter? No. What? What? I just read. I read you the beginning of the Half Blood Prince. Oh, okay. That's why I was confused. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. I didn't... Snape was like, oh, look, I didn't want to be a half blood. <laughs> Half-blood. <laughs> yeah. Percy Jackson? Yeah. But which one? Uh... It's not the first one. Is it... The Titan's Curse? No. Dude. Look, I didn't want to be a half-blood. Is it Sea of Monsters? Two more. I'm gonna guess the wrong one first. Okay. Wait, it's not the first one? I didn't ever say that. Oh my god, it's the first one. Yeah. How? The first book starts like that? Yeah. Because it's like, if you're reading this because you think you might be one, my advice is close this book right now. Believe what you ever lie. Your mom told you about your book. Oh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. And then he goes back. That would have helped. But okay. <laughs> what does that even count as? I don't know. I guessed too many times. Give me two points instead okay. of three. Um, book number 10. <laughs> the first sentence of the book, is, it's not like a sentence that a character is saying, it's like the setting. 
do you want me to read that or would you rather me read a character that a character no, whatever is the very first thing the, f the very first thing okay not like the title okay but it's not the title it's like setting up the seats the setting it's a scene it's a play it's not the okay let's just read the setting okay the los angeles institute december 2007 oh that's what you mean yeah oh okay. well, i'll be read it so it counts yeah well is this city of heavenly fire you know what? <laughs> I know that because that's the only Mortal Instruments book that has the Los Angeles Institute in it. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> Do one more. Okay. Do like one hard one. Bonus round. Bonus round. It's frustrating because I want it to actually be hard, but I'm going to like read it and be like, oh, I know. <laughs> so when I sound like I know. <laughs> <laughs> book number bonus round. <laughs> Darkness and Footsteps. What? I'll give you a hint. I could read the stage directions, but that would make it even worse. So I'm it's not. a play. Yeah. See, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna guess it because I know which plays I own that I've read. Okay. Is it the flu season? Yeah. Yes. Okay. See, otherwise I would like I would have read the stage direction and it would have been enters in darkness. Okay. And that's like I feel like that's slightly worse. Yay. Okay. Can I take this thing off? Yes. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna help you do it. Yeah. Where you go. I'm here. Come back. Ah! Well, oh my god. Oh my god. It burns. <laughs> I can't see anything. Oh my god, your eyebrows are out of control. Okay. That's not okay. <laughs> Do. This is why I love Maya. She understands the importance of eyebrows. Let's just take a... Oh, pretty. Okay, I think I can see sufficiently now. Okay, so I got, I got 22 points out of... 33. I'd say that's pretty decent. I think it's decent. Yeah. What is that? Like a... a mad, I, don't I don't know. know. So that's, that's pretty good. I am really mad that I didn't get Wuthering Heights. I'm still shocked. Um, I'm... yeah. I'm pretty mad about that. I got Wuthering Heights, but... I didn't get Wuthering Heights, but I got Breaking Dawn. Because <laughs> that makes logical sense. That is it, guys. That is the first sentence challenge. Thank you to Maya for being here with me and doing mm -hmm. this tag with me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if there were any of these that you would have guessed on your first try. Um, and you guys should do this tag too if you guys want to do it. So I tag all of you to do it because I'm not going to tag specific people because I don't know who's done it. This is a pretty old challenge. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye! So it's finally October, and that means pumpkin-themed everything, and Halloween, and I'm so excited because fall and winter is just when I'm happiest, 